a little steep in the wrong direction. Schuss, <laughs> Mark. Hanno. Hanno. Ulo. Ulo. Salmon. Salmon. Oh, uh, hello, Esma. I know that of you. Guys, totally making a fire. We reached a bit of an impasse. As you can see, this is the road, and literally snow has overtaken the road. Good morning. From Doma. Got my two in one. No sugar. Can only guess what the other what the two are. <laughs> Coffee. Just turning off these lights. And uh, we're about to see the outside of Doma together for the first time. Wow, wow, wow. What an incredible view. Can I put my sunglasses on? Wow. That's amazing. So we're gonna, we're about to go meet um, Michelle who's going to take us on a morning hike through Doma and up to a place with a really great view of the city. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Yes, <laughs> it's a balancing act. Have your tea and uh, just uh, get some things from the car. Okay? Yeah. Sounds good. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah, holy crap. This view. Uh, we're going to climb one of those mountains at some point. Today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. You mean like when we walk to the gorge? Yeah. It, or, yeah, I think the gorge is on the other side of the mountain. Oh, wow. No Remember wonder. when we were like, oh, that's a steep downhill? Actually, it's a steep uphill. Uh, no wonder it was for like a difficult, like, you know, sportsmen. That mountain, one of those. So very Christian, this place. Right. Yeah, it's a Christian. Have uh, wildlife here, except a few uh, jackals and uh, radiators come across the uh, hyena. Really? Yeah. There's plenty of wildlife. Or, uh, not much, I mean, compared to uh, Europe or other countries, we really don't have uh, like dangerous ones. Hy hyena is a very, very rare. Uh, I didn't I see I thought I saw like on the 961 or something that they reintroduced the like deer mm -hmm. that were once native right. to Lebanon but they I, I feel like they're probably still pretty in a in a pretty concentrated area like they haven't dispersed throughout Lebanon yet I hope They also introduced the uh ibex the Nubian ibex. Uh -huh. Have you heard about the Syrians there? No. Oh. <laughs> it's just the the, they uh, found one at the border. Uh, Syrian, uh, Syrian there. Was it once native to Lebanon as well? To the borders, yes, to the to the area here. Huh. Mainly Beka.
So this is zatar, the thing that we eat every morning in our breakfast, the thing that's in Manouche. And it uh, looks like this. Amazing. <laughs> you eating it? Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Zatar. <laughs> so zatar grows uh, wildly. In these area in this part of Lebanon, Th do you know if it grows at higher altitudes? Uh, yeah, yeah, usually not that high, but uh, always uh, the quality is always better when it's uh, when it grows into the wild uh, somewhere really high. Huh. Very cool. Usually, to really feel the smell, you need to rub it on your hand. Oh, okay. Like this. Yeah. Try. It's like an experience, the full experience. <laughs> Smell it. I can't smell anything. No? I guess you took it all. <laughs> Nothing? Oops. Maybe it's because I <clears throat> ate all of it. Maybe you're just like saturated. I'm saturated in zatar. I'm actually swimming in zatar in my senses. <laughs> all I can taste is zatar. I've heard it's good for uh, for coughing and for flu. Usually they do some sort of infusion with zatar, not only for manouche, for uh, manouche. Oh, I some herbal uh, medicine is good. <laughs> we peaked. <laughs> a zero drop out. You found the best spot. <laughs> Congratulations. Careful, it's got a an angle. It's a little steep in the wrong direction. Wow, this one. You <laughs> said we can walk out on it. Uh, this one I haven't tried. Oh, and this one no. It's better not to try it because there's a huge crack yeah. in it. So. Okay. <laughs> Is that huge? I thought that's the one you meant. It's uh, no, actually this one. This one. Ah, okay. Yeah, this one. <laughs> but this we one's... can we we can uh, we can step on the backside if you don't want to come very close to the. It's easy from here. That's yeah. amazing. Tempting? Tempting, tempting. <laughs> okay, so how do we do this? Good. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Knock the camera back. <laughs> so we just finished the morning trek with Michel and now he's got a traditional Domanian breakfast in store for us and I'm super excited. Can't wait. Short little pit stop before breakfast. Uh, this is the Doma Fountain. So this is the Doma Fountain, right? Mm -hmm. It's and it's uh, supposed to have some kind of special. That's not it's, uh, it's just fresh snow melting. Snow, snow water. It's naturally purified. Wow. How was it, babe? Oh, 
Wow. Really bright. <laughs> I love these, like, from the mountain spring waters. They're so good. Can I fill my water bottle with it? Most of the locals here that we have filled their tanks is the easiest to fill. I filled up real quick. You want me to fill up yours? I can fill it. Can you fill it up? Beautiful. You'll have some healings tonight. <laughs> 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 we'll be cured, babe. All right, now it's breakfast. She's somewhere down there. No, I can do. All right. So what's this man doing? And this is the smell of fire. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is totally making a fire. Shukran! You're welcome. All right, you smell fire. So we've got to find uh, Jamel. Yeah, I was wondering what he was doing, but he's making the smell of fire. Obviously. That's what he's doing. <laughs> it's for us, babe, and for the surrounding community. He's just doing the community work. Wow. Hi, Petey. Cat ran away so fast. We're looking for Zemel. Should we go inside? Look for her? Should we open it? Uh, or knock? Yeah. Knock. I mean, look, it's all laid out for two. Uh huh. You can see it's laid out for two? Yeah. That's us. Coming from the window. Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess we wait. Enjoy. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's gorgeous out today. And we got this guy. <laughs> I'm <running it> out. <laughs> Hammering out the fire. What more could you ask for? Here she is. We found her. Yay, we found her. Jamal! Yay, Jamal! Hi! <laughs> I like your pants. <laughs> your pants, I like them. Very cool. <laughs> wow. Check this out. Got the olives, the tomatoes, and the cucumber. I'm not sure what that is. This looks like a labina. Olive oil, and uh, probably more to come. Yeah. And that view outside. Tannerine, wow, which is gathered not too far from here. Yeah, Tannerine is a uh, city that's very close to where we are now. 
So this is pretty local water. I wonder what this is. But this one's obviously more local. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we grab a little bit of this bread. I'm going to spread some up. Oh, this looks like it might be cheese. Mm. A little cheese down. Spread a little lavender. Because why not? Why not both? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to cut up a little bit of cucumber. Tea? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Cucumber, got an olive. And put everything together. And you get a pretty tasty thing. Mm. Dunk it in some. Oh, it's your crown. Dunk it in some olive oil. Put some olive oil down on your plate. And you can uh, dunk it as well. <laughs> that good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's dig in, put the camera down. I want to dig in. I'm going to dig in. See you later. Okay, wow. So she just came out with this stuff. So this is a uh, zatar bread. We've got uh, maybe manouche here, manouche. And something that Valentine and I have not yet tried. Very excited to try this stuff. So this thing is just filled with like a super creamy cheese. Valentine's eating it right now. How is it? <laughs> Beyond words. We've got the zata bread, which I'm dunking in the olive oil. It's amazing. And uh, is that egg after all? Yeah, this, this is basically scrambled eggs, Lebanese style. On bread. <laughs> and she just brought out this like sizzling thing of eggs. Insane. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we are fed and we've kind of regrouped the next adventure is going to be to the old souk area, which apparently is supposed to be this really like old and beautiful uh, part of Duma. It's very cultural, traditional, and they sell a lot of the local specialties. And so I'm kind of excited to just explore, kind of figure out what's there, see what we can find, maybe some cool stuff. And uh, also, an additional quest is to figure out maybe something medicinal for Valentine because he is not feeling particularly well this afternoon. We don't really know what happened or why he's feeling this way. Um, but I, I heard from Michelle this morning that people here use like zatar as a, like a medicinal herbal cure for things so we'll see you know we'll see what we come across oh and along the way another little uh, thing that i'll be pointing out is some cool architecture because uh, duma has like the highest concentration of traditional architecture in any part of lebanon that i've that we've been to so far and it's just so beautiful to see so many buildings in such a small village, you know, um, being so unique and 
just well maintained. So this is the entrance to the souk. Hi. Who was that? The chef number four. Oh, that's right. I think those are vases, babe. <laughs> okay, tell me that's not Gorgeous. Wow. These streets are so beautiful. I mean, I think, I think the souk is pretty closed right now due to COVID. Like you see, a lot of these doors are just closed. But some things are open, you know. Not the ice cream though. This is open. Marhaba. Zaytuna? Zayt? Oh. I'm curious. That's supposed Oh, I'm fine. Okay, nice. Oh, it's it's hal it's a uh, halva, babe. It's halva. Yeah. Like halva. Like see, halawa. Halawa. Lebanese halawa. It says it right by his thumb. Oh. Oh wow! I wanted to try this actually. Had a hello, sa. Uh-huh. It's Hava, babe. I love it. I just Hava. Oh my gosh. Dude. There like, it is. <laughs> You're gonna have to take it now, babe. Oh my gosh, it's Hava. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. actual Hava, which is basically in Russian. In Russia, Hava is made out of sunflower seeds mm -hmm. mushed together. I'd love to try some. How do I? You just... Okay, let's see this. How is it? Oh, it's something special. It's Lebanese, it's different. Yeah? Yeah, you want, you want to try it? Let me, yeah. Mmm, it's dry. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Okay, we'll take it. Sounds good. Yeah, we want this to go. <laughs> cool. Hard not to take it, I think. Yeah. Especially after that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want any, um, like, of the, if there's zatar? Zatar? Yeah. I think or do we have plenty? Zatar. Yeah. The thing is, they have fresh zatar here, so I think we want to. Let's have someone compare, you know? Yeah. Like, how much is the zatar? Yeah. A, a day. A day. A day. Like hamsa 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 Okay. Twenty five. Twenty five. Cool. A twenty. Hamsa. Mhm. Got it. Mhm. And then like. I don't know if we want to take any olive oil from here. Yeah, I mean, we have to honestly carry this all back. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if we should take so much. Maybe we'll get some olive oil on the way back. Like the I say? No, no, it's a zate. 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 Let's look at the zate. When when zate? When when zate? Uh, no. When zate? Zate. 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 Hey, <laughs> well, um, shui, shui, shui.
There it is, babe. It's all freezing on the bottom. How did my damn How did I get out of here? How did I get out of here? Wow. Get out of here. What? It's good. It's good. Yeah? I've never tried the uh, olive oil like that before. Add more, add more. It's fucking olive oil. It's good. Yeah, it's olive oil. You think it's normal? Yeah, it's good. It's, it's good. like a nice, rich olive oil. It's like this as well. Also, look at his shop. Got all kinds of stuff. I don't know what that is. It looks kind of red. Oh, freaking jam. So we're getting the halva. The gratis and the uh, olive oil. For. Shakran. 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 All for 80,000 Lebanese lira. Less than 10 bucks. Shakran. What do I do? Uh, Ahoy. Ahoy. Eh, eh, eh. This. Mm, la. What, what did you say? He what said you? you want coffee. Uh, okay. Oh, la, la, la. Shukran. La, shukran. Um, we should ask if we can... Can we leave this here? Yeah, like, um, can we, can we leave this here? While we walk and around? And we walk oh, around. Shukran. Yeah, shukran. Yeah, I don't say that with you. Shukran. 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 Hanno, Nora, Salmo. Nora. Hanno, Hanno, Ulo, Ulo, Salmo, Salmon. Oh, hello, Esma. I know that of you. Charapna, Charapna. Hanno, Hanno, Hanno. Oh, leave it, leave it. Uh, we'll walk this around gonna... and then come back and pick up. Hey, Sugar. Debus. Debus? Mm. Debus. Interesting. <laughs> what is debus? No idea. I wonder. Hmm? I don't know what it is. Not the one that we've tried before, maybe. Yeah. Fig. Yeah. Fig. Uh-huh. Uh, pom. Uh, I kind of want some of this guy, maybe. Like Which apric one is apricot that? Apricot gem. Apricot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we like the apricot. We do. Mm-hmm. Arab balade. Alright. Balade. Arab. The, the bait? You do. You do? Really? Yeah, we No way. Wow. Anjan? <laughs> <laughs> wow. On, uh, syrup, uh, orange, uh, rose, uh, blackberry, uh, syrup, citron, orange, hey, grenadine, lot of flower, lot of rose, wow. datar, tomato, oh. They have water, uh, they have rose water. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. Zorat. Zorat? Mm. I don't know what that is. Me neither. Tea. Tea. Oh, okay. Tea, or flower. Or flower. Flower tea. Mm -hmm. I kind of want some. Like an oil. Olive. Uh huh. Hey. Yeah, hello, yeah, hello. Uh. He has like a like a headache. Like okay, you can't you can't tell me. I can't translate to Where Russia. are you from, guys? Um, Russia and the U.S. Nice. How, yeah. how long have you been in Lebanon? Since the beginning of January. Why are you here? Why? Yeah. Uh, I'm you know, a, the situation is really bad. I'm a travel. We can't blogger. wait to leave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't hear why you why you're here. Tourism? I'm a I'm a travel vlogger, so yeah, I'm like tour being a tourist and uh, yeah. And you're fi finding great attractions up until now. Yeah. You're liking the region. Oh, sure. it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, and the people are great. Glad. So glad. nice. So what are you trying to tell her? I'm trying to tell her that he has a headache. Okay, I'm just and, also. 
I'm wondering if she has anything that maybe might uh, like help relieve it or. Uh, I'm just if there's a girl, she's product, I'm only saying she's going to get rid of it. Ah, she's going to get rid of it. Ah, she's going to get rid of it. Yeah, like he has it now. Oh, wow, yeah, it is intense. Should be good. Okay, show me, show me. Carpet center. Oh. Yeah, they said it's over a hundred years old. Wow. Wow. You work here, huh? Amazing. Look at this. Should it like look as it? Wow. <laughs> it's old, right? Super old. <laughs> And you build uh, doors, you build ba babes. Hey. Yeah? Like this, like that, huh? It's cedar wood. Cedar wood. That's cedar, cedar wood. Wow. Yeah. What the hell? Uh, very expensive. This is the wood. Yeah, wow. I bet. Yeah. I've never seen it. First time seeing the cedar wood. Hey, First time, yeah. Wood, uh, oh, long time. Oh, okay. Outside. <laughs> wow. It's wood for outside. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Very good for outside. Oh, very good for outside. Hey, see this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Mm. That's cool. <laughs> Makes sense. Look at all, all this stuff. The cinema. We buy tickets from this uh, small door. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, a long time ago, that was a cinema. <laughs> uh, you'd, get, you'd, get a, you'd get like um, you buy tickets, tickets from... Huh. You buy tickets from, from this, that little from window. This small, <laughs> small, you wow. Know? Yeah, 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 I see it. But it's closing now. <laughs> In winter, it's closed. <laughs> and your boy is helping? Yeah, yeah. This is my boy. Yeah. So you used to like <laughs> get your tickets from right in here. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. 1951. 52. 52. 52. 52. 52. Yeah. <laughs> nice guy. I love this house oh. with like the car parked in the little archway. Yeah. So beautiful. I, you. I know. It's incredible. And it's all covered with vines. Are they? I mean, grapes are usually bigger, no? Maybe yeah. they would dry. Maybe they dried. I don't know if blueberries grow like this, but they do look like blueberries. <laughs> they, they, they do. They don't. have a major, They have like a simple seed somewhere. You know? I don't think blueberries. This is like a dream house. So, about an eight minute drive from Doma is a city called Bishale. As you can see, in Bishale they burn trees. I think he's burning olive trees, but it's okay probably. Maybe they got wrecked by the snowstorm or something. He, and there's plenty of olive trees. Um, which I'll get back to in a minute. But this city, I believe, is also the hometown of Shakira's grandmother. And uh, so that's a f another fun fact. And right now, I am about to see the main attraction of Bishale, which is their olive trees which are rumored to actually be some of the oldest trees in the entire world. 
local locals will tell you that they're at least 4,000 or 5,000 years old but nobody's nobody's you know um, dated the tree rings so nobody's really quite sure exactly how old they are they could even be upwards of 6,000 years old and the locals say that the the famous olive tree branch from Noah's Ark after the big flood came from these olive trees. Look at this one. Huge. This is huge. And this one's even bigger. Oh my god. Check this out. So I'm gonna walk inside this one actually. So I'm gonna back up into it. So this thing, this tree is so huge that I can literally like, probably like, I could lay down inside this thing. This one's also super huge. Also chilling inside of this one. Wow. I wonder why they grow this way with the like to create a hole in the middle. It's interesting. I wonder if they I wonder if the, the soil underneath the roots just eroded over time. Yeah, so these like, you know, 6,000 year old olive trees are literally just on the side of the road in this town. You know, you'd expect like some of the oldest, potentially the oldest trees on the planet to be somewhat, you know, hidden away or like, you know, hard to reach or whatever. But there's literally a road. They're right up against a road, which is crazy. Oh, and also uh, these olive trees are actually some of the... Uh, they're the olive trees that are growing at the highest, it's the highest altitude that any olive tree grows at in the world, up here in Bishalle. And uh, that makes them very like sought after because apparently the higher the altitude, the, the better the olive oil, the higher quality, the tastier, whatever you, you want to say. And uh, you got kitties playing amongst the Olive trees. Meow. So I was planning on checking out this really cool church with a great view on the top of a mountain um, with like lakes and things like that for the sunset. Um, in like a nearby village, like 30 minutes away from Doma. But we reached a bit of an impasse. As you can see, this is the road and literally snow has overtaken the road and uh, nobody's plowed the road, which leads me to believe that um, Either the homes up here and the roads up here are like only summer roads and summer homes or nobody's been up here since it snowed. So, and our, uh, our Peugeot is not meant to drive in snow, we learned. So we reached a bit of an impasse, but uh, the views are still 
gorgeous. I just don't think we'll be watching sunset from here. So Valentine, what do you think about the shoes you brought to Lebanon? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Lebanon is not a desert. Okay. Yeah, they got snow. All right. And they got greens. Bring, bring your normal shoes for snow. Like Emily's. Bring him shoes like Emily's. In the winter, anyway. You know, if there's, you know, if it's if it's winter, there's likely snow on the ground. But in the summertime, I don't know. I, I doubt this place retains the snow in the winter, in the summertime. There's like barely any now. I mean, I know it looks like a lot, but it's really not. So this is as far as our Peugeot made it. He made it through that uh, little bit of snowy road right here. We like blazed this trail, but uh, this is where the this is where it where it all ended for the Peugeot. So anyway, I guess this part is just inaccessible to us at this time of the year. Back home to Duma. Yeah, let's do it. It's on snow, right? Yeah, it's, I put it on snow mode. Even on snow mode, it does it does not do the job. It's a lot of snow. It's not like cloud snow. So I guess I shouldn't judge the Peugeot too harshly. Are we going to Wadi Al Jelt Lac Luc? And something else? Uh I guess we're going to Lac Luc. You wanna go to Lac Luc? And that one so can you go a little further? <laughs> No, Tannerine. Ten Tannerine's this way, I think. It says Tannerine that way. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I need... Back. Back. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. And now start turning. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Uh, you can go a little bit more. Okay, now stop. Don't want her to fall. <laughs> okay, now try go that way. Oh, cool. Good job. Yeah, like great job. Did it? Yeah. I How's my driving in Lebanon, Valentine? Emily's driving is excellent. She kicks ass in social situations and the uh, mountaineering situations and the snow driving situations and uh, the rolling situations too. Oh, that's where you did the backup over there. Yeah. Do this again. Oh, god damn. Look at that. 